Good day, everyone. Now, welcome back to ID Mathematics class. Let's consider another concept, perfect scale. What is a perfect scale? A perfect scale is any number that is expressible in index form with even power. Also, a perfect scale gives whole number as square root. But I want you to take note of this first definition that a perfect square is any number that is expressible in index form with even power. Example of what I'm talking about is 4 is a perfect square. Why? It is expressible in index form as 2 raised to power 2. That it has this even power 2 makes it perfect. Also 9. 9 is 3 square. Having the even power 2 makes it perfect. 16 is perfect. Which is expressible as 2 raised to power 4. The power 4 makes it perfect. Or 4 raised to power 2. The power 2 makes it perfect. Look at 64. 64 could be 2 raised to power 6. Or 8 raised to power 2. Power 6, which is even, makes it perfect. Power 2, which is even, makes 8 raised to power 2 also perfect. This 64 is dynamic. It's a perfect scale. Although it is also 4 raised to power 3. And you will, if you look at this, you will think it is not perfect because of power 3, which is odd. But it can be changed to 2 raised to power 2 into the 3, which will make it to become 2 raised to power 6, that is the first. In short, 64 is a perfect scale. So, this is the idea behind the perfect scale. So, any number that is expressible in index form with heaven power is a perfect scale. Let's consider example 1 under it. Which of the following is not a perfect scale? Option A, B, C, D. Simple thing to do. Take them one by one. Five, seven, six. Break 576 into factors and express it in index form. So to say, express each of these as a product of prime factors. So, 2 goes in 5, 2 times, remaining 1 in 17, 8, remaining 1 in 16, 8, 2 again, in 2, 1, in 8, 4, in 8, 4. Looking at this, you will see that 2 can also go here, 7, 2. 2 again in 7, that's 3. In 12, 6. 2 again in 3 is 1. In 16 is 8. 2 in 18 is 9. Now next is 3, 3, 3, 1. So you can see that option A, 576, is 2 raised to power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 raised to power 6 times 3 raised to power 2. You can see that every factor we, into which we break 576 carries even power. 2 raised to power 6, power 6 is even. 3 raised to power 2, power 2 is even. Let's consider B. That is 4, 4, 1. 3 in 4, 1. 
It remains when? In 14. 3 in 14 is 4. It remains 2. Use the 2 with 1, making 21. 3 in 21 is 7. So, let's try 3 again. 3 in 14, again, is 4. Remaining 2. Use the 2 with 7, making 27. 3 in 27 is 9. So, 7 definitely will go in 49. 7 in 49, 7. 7 again in 7, 1. So, this is 3 square times 7 square. You can see also that 441 is also a perfect scale. As a beginner, this is how you need to work until you become a guru. That we look into the numbers like this without sweating at all and pick the correct answer. But before you get to that level, you have to know this rudiment. Be able to go through this rudiment and develop into that level I'm talking about. So, option C which is 240. Let's try 240 here. 2 here, 1, 2, 0. 2 here, 6, 0. 2 again, 3, 0. 2, 1, 5. 3, 5, 5, 1. You can see this is 2 raised to power 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 raised to power 4 times 3 times 5. This 240 is not perfect. Why? Not all its factors carry even power. Only factor 2 of it carry even power 4. Factor 3 carries only one power. Power 1, which is hot, is not even. Factor 5 carries power 1 as well, which is not even, but hot. Definitely 240 is not a perfect scale, and that is our answer. The answer is, the question is, which of the following is not a perfect scale? 240 is not a perfect scale. For you to be convinced, let's try the option D. Though we've confirmed now that our correct answer is option C, let's try option D for confirmation. 484, let's analyze it. 2 in this, 2, 4, 2. 2 again, 1, 2, 1. 11 gives 11, 11 again, 1. Therefore, option D, 484 is 2 raised to power 2 times 11 raised to power 2. You can see it's also a perfect scale because all its factors carry even power. So that is the answer. Let's look at this example too. Which of these is a perfect scale? That question means, out of the four options on the board, only one is a perfect scale. That's the meaning of which of these is a perfect scale. Look at option A. You can see that factor 3 in the option A carries power 1. And that power 1 is not even. Is hot. Therefore, the total number 3 times 7 square is not perfect. It has a partial perfect, you know, part. 7 raised to power 2 is a perfect part. But 3 raised to power 1 is an imperfect part. So when you multiply the two together, it gives you an imperfect number. Also, option B, 2 raised to power 5. Power 5 is not perfect. It's not even. It is when the power is even that it is the number will be perfect. So, 3 raised to power 2, power 2 is perfect. But since it is a part of the same number, when you multiply them together, it gives you all together an imperfect number. So, it is not perfect. Let's analyze option D. Option D, which is 20, is 2 times 2 times 5. That is... 2 raised to power 2 times 5. You can see that 2 raised to power 2 is a perfect something. But 5 raised to power 1 is an imperfect one. Since it is the same number that is broken into this, when you multiply everything together, you still get an imperfect number 20. So, 
20 is not a perfect scale. Definitely option C, which is 1, is a perfect scale. 1 is a perfect scale. When 1 is a perfect scale, 1 is a perfect cube, 1 is perfect in all regards. So don't forget, 1 is, is part of the perfect scales. The perfect scales, in short, if you want to list the perfect scales, just write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so forth. Scale each of them. It gives you the perfect number. When you scale 1, it gives you 1. That's why 1 is a perfect scale. When you scale 2, it gives you 4. So the second perfect scale is 4. When you scale 3, it gives you 9. So the third perfect scale is 9. When you scale 4, it gives you 16. The fourth perfect scale is 16. When you scale 5, it gives you 25. So the fifth perfect scale is 25. And so forth like this, you'll be getting, if you need all the perfect scale in the world, this is how to get all of them listed. And you get them without missing anyone. These are the first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the first 8 perfect Okay, so that is why I, I do this, so you can be convinced that one is a perfect scale. Thank you. Let's move on. Let's consider example three. It's very interesting. It is algebraic, though. It is good that we equip ourselves all around. Which of these is not a perfect scale? That means in this question, out of the four options we have, three of them are perfect scales. Only one is not a perfect scale. Let's cite the one. Let's fish it out. Option A, x raised to power 4, y scale. x is perfect, y is perfect. Why? x carries even power. y carries even power. So the whole number x raised to power 4, y scale is a perfect scale. Option B, P, is having power 1. Q is having power 10, even. So option B is the answer. It is not a perfect scale. Let's see option C is a perfect scale. 4 is a perfect scale. M scale is a perfect scale. 81 is a perfect scale. Y scale is a perfect scale. How? 4 can be expressed as 2 scale. 2 raised to power 2. 81 can be 9 raised to power 2 or 3 raised to power 4 is a perfect scale. So the correct option is option B, which is not the perfect scale. Let's consider another concept under the perfect scale. And that is how to make a perfect scale. That is, a number that is not a perfect scale, how do we make it a perfect scale? That is what I want to learn here. But I rather teach you this by example. Example 1. Find the smallest numbers by which the following must be multiplied to make each of them a perfect scale. That is number 84, the number 504. We want to make each of them a perfect scale. Definitely they are not perfect scale. I want to make them a perfect scale. Let's start with the first question here, 84. 84 is, let me analyze 84 here and you see. 2 in this, 4, 2, 2 here, 2, 1, 3, 7, 7, 1. So that is 2 raised to power 2 times 3 times 7. You can see that this is not a perfect scale indeed because you can see that factor 3 is carrying odd power 1. Factor 7 is carrying odd power 1 and anything that is carrying odd, odd power like that is not a perfect scale. So how do we now make this a perfect scale? You now write 2 raised to power 2 times 3 times another 3. You introduce another 3 to this. I, I ring that 3 that I introduced. Times 7 times another 7. I ring it. Why do I ring it? You will see now. Let's first land by making them perfect. We have 2 raised to power 2 times 3 times 3 is 3 raised to power 2. 7 times 7 is 7 raised to power 2. You can now see that the number is perfect. 
If we extract out this, we get a whole number like 84. It will no longer be 84. It will be something else. But whatever it is, if you multiply everything together, whatever it is, is going to be a perfect scale. So what now is the smallest number that make it a perfect scale? So therefore, the smallest number is equal to these three that you introduce and the seven that you introduce. Multiply them together. Three times seven. And answer is 21. So the smallest number that make 84 a perfect scale by multiplying them together is 21. That is, the smallest number that we need to multiply 84 with to form a perfect scale. That smallest number is 21. Let's see question B, which is 5. 104. Let's analyze 504. 504. 2 here is 2. 5, 2. 2 again. 1, 2. 6. 2 again is 6. 3. 3, 2, 1. 3, 7, 7, 1. So, this is 2 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 2 times 7. You can see that 2 raised to power 3 is an imperfect something. Also 7 raised to power 1, the 1 is invisible. So that is why 504 is not a perfect scale. How do we make it a perfect scale? This 2 raised to power 3 you introduce another 2 to it. The 3 raised power 2 is perfect itself, so you leave it as it's not perfect. So, introduce another 7. So, we now have 2 raised power 4, because when you, when you multiply 2 raised power 3 by 2, it gives you 2 raised power 4 times 3 raised power 2 times 7 raised power 2. You can now see that everything is perfect. So if you multiply everything together to form a whole number, a singular number, that singular number will be a perfect scale. What smallest number now gives us that? What smallest number is it that we multiply 504 with to make it a perfect scale? That smallest number will be the 2 we introduce here, the 7 we introduce here, we introduce these two. We introduce these seven. Multiplying them together, you get 14. So we say, therefore, the number is equal to 14. 2 times 7. That is the smallest number that we must use to multiply 504 to make it a perfect scale.